Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Hello, welcome to Art Starts Explores. My name is Payson. I'm the public program coordinator at Art Starts in Schools. This month, we are presenting a winter special. It is about Chinese paper cutting art. Particularly, it's about Chuanghua. As you can see, I wrote down the Chinese here. If we translate it, it means window flowers cutouts. Usually, we practice it um, during winter or festive occasions, such as weddings or Chinese New Year. And as you know, Chinese New Year happens in winter. Yeah, so when we think about winter, it might be cold, snowing, or Mm, white, right? And then in China, we usually um, making these window flowers using red paper. Why? Why we are using red paper? Because um, we want to symbolize luck, happiness. and vitality. What's the meaning of vitality? Basically, it's about energy and being alive. Imagine in a very cold winter and you know, when you're looking um, outside through the window, everything's white and then um, the snows are um, on the tree, on the floor, the ground, you know. So we bring red to represent uh, vitality, energy, to make it, um, to make us feel um, more vibrant. Um, yeah, that's why we are bringing red. And all these things, um, let's say when we're making the window flowers using red paper we just want to symbolize these good things luck happiness and vitality yeah so let's get into it let's get started so today the materials we need are very simple we only need paper and scissors if you don't have red paper it's okay um, just be patient and then um, have a look of my demo first and then you can decide what kind of um, paper you want to use or what kind of color you want to use 
Okay, the first step, we need to have a square shape, not this rectangle. How can we do that? It's easy. Have a look. So we fold this paper in this way. And then we fold it again in this way. See, we got two lines here. And then we use our scissors. To cut this. Yeah, so now we got a square. Okay, see, and you can see we have a line here. Yes, we fold it again. Next, fold it. And keep folding it. But this time, we need to make sure we can fold it in a way that is able to use this side to cover this side. Okay? Okay, let me do it again. See? We fold it for the first time second time, these two first two steps, easy, but when it comes to the third step, we need to fold it like this, and then make sure we have enough space to cover the back side of it, and then we make a shape like this, see? Okay, now what's the next? Bring our scissors. Mm, window flowers. What kind of flowers I want to make? I actually don't have any idea. And then um, the good thing about this technique is that you don't need to have a specific idea in mind in advance. You can just do it randomly to see what you can get. And this is also the thing I really love about this practice because I love to see what kind of shape I might get at the end. You know, I don't know at the beginning, but let it surprise me. Okay, let's start. First, I want to cut this. And then I want to make a wavy edge okay so this side will be the edge of our window flowers so when you open it you know it will become a round shape and then this will be the edge now i want a wavy edge and then this will be the center of the flower. I want, uh, you know, I want the center to be empty. So I cut here. Next, I want to decorate these two sides. Remember, this is the only part we can cut through, okay? When we come to these two sides, we do not cut through the whole line. Okay, we cut, we cut out some part of this side and then some part of this side, but we do not cut through. Okay, let's do it. A triangle, I'm going with simple shapes. 
and then take it out. Good. Um, a triangle up here. Maybe I want a triangle down here, but a different shape of triangle, a bigger one. Good. And then a round shape. Uh, same here, but smaller. Okay, sorry. Yeah, keep our station clean. Next, maybe I can get a long. another round shape, small one. Remember, don't cut through. See, I cut a very big triangle here, but I don't want to destroy it. So I keep my another cutting, very small, this side, okay? Um, what's the next? I think it's good now, okay. Maybe a little a small triangle here. See, I'm very careful. Okay, let's open it to see what we get. Mm -hmm. See? We get a winter flap. Okay, let's place it this way. Do you like it? See, in the middle, because of the um, because of the triangle, I was cutting. Now, when I open it, it turns out like diamond shape. And look, here, here, if you only look at here, does it look like a snowflake? Right? I think so. Let's see. So I have a white paper here. Let's place it on top of it. See? Now you can see it clearly. This part looks like a snowflake, right? So this is the contrast we get. Imagine if we place this on a window with the white paper behind, we can get snowflake and the flower at the same time. But if you want to do that, you need to make sure you get a round white paper at the, behind, okay? To outstand the snowflake. Okay, yeah, so this is the first example I'm showing you. I really love this because um, this is something um, I was taught by my grandmother and now she's still living in China and I haven't been back for um, more than three years. So I just feel, yes, um, this is also a way uh, for me to miss her, to think about her. Yeah, I love it. Okay, um, as this is a winter um, tradition, uh, and we are also in Canada, in the beautiful British Columbia. So I'm thinking maybe we can do something um, more Christmassy. Um, yeah, 
So that's why I brought Christmas colors. For example, different shades of green, red, white, and blue. Okay. And also you can see they are in different sizes because if we don't have large paper, it's okay. It's fine. Mm, we don't have to. We can make some smaller um, window flowers or uh, window snowflakes. If it's smaller, it's also cool. Um, it depends on how or where we want to put them on, right? So the bigger ones, I might put it um, on a door. Smaller ones, I might put make a lot, and then I put all of them on one window. Okay, so let's keep going. Yeah. Now I want to make a white one. First, I need to make a square. How? See? This is an easy way to make a square. And this is also something my grandmother taught me. Have your parents or grandparents taught you something interesting as well? Mm, maybe you can present at our start someday or show us. We would like to know as well. It's not just about art. I think for me, it's also about bonding with our families, right? Showing how we care about them, how we, in my case, miss them. You know, a way of showing art and also a way of showing love. Okay, I fold it once, right? So the second time. And then the third time, we need to be very careful. One, two, good. Okay. Okay. Oh, see, it's not perfect, but I think it's okay. Um, you can either keep doing it or fix it a little bit. How to fix it? Go. Adjust it little by little. See, now it's good. Don't worry. Now I want to make a shape that is sharp. One cut. Another cut. Careful, don't cut your hand. One cut. Another cut. Now it looks like a, a mystic creature's head, and this is uh, its mouth. <laughs> okay, let's keep doing. Or it can be a teeth, a tooth. Sorry. Okay. I got sharp shapes, right? Now I want round shapes to make this contrast. One more cut.
Good. Hmm? Let's see what we get. Ooh, see? Do you like it? Okay, that's good. Let's do another one. Let's use green. See, first we get a square. If you don't have scissors, right? Uh, sometimes I might just fold it multiple times. And then I can just... See? Easy. Tear it apart. And then we fold again. And then fold, but be very careful. Let's see. See, not enough. Okay, I need to fold a little bit more. Now, good. Okay, let's say. This time we don't have scissors. What can I do? I just use my hand, right? I just did this. I can keep doing with my hand. Let's see. Hmm? I got a random shape. And how about You be careful because I'm doing it very slowly because for the top you can cut it through, right? For the bottom it's okay too, but in the middle we need to be slow and then make sure we don't go all the way here. That's why I'm doing it very slowly. See? Okay. Yeah, that's it. With my hand. Let's see what we get. I got a ring. Look. It's still good, right? Okay, I really love this practice because, see, every time you get a different shape that can surprise yourself. Okay, I'm gonna do one more, a big one. And then now we fold it. Okay. Good. Have a look of two sides.
they look different, right? This side you can only see this line here, but this side you can see this. This is the actual edge of the snowflakes, or we call window flowers. This is the actual edge of it. So if we cut like this, when we open, see? I didn't cut below this line. I cut above this line. But this is the actual edge. We cannot do that because if we cut above this line, we might not get a nice round shape. Let's have a look before we keep going. See, as you can see, here is round, but see, white paper. We lost this two edge also here, right? But if you like it in this way, it's good as well, right? There's no right and wrong. I'm just showing you to let you know what might happen, right? If we're doing things a little bit differently. For example, I actually like this. Like, see, a straight line here and then a round shape in between these two straight lines. I actually like it. So let's do it in this way. This is also something I just discovered today with you. And I'm so happy because it's actually good. Oh wait, let's do the lower part. Now, If I make a make an irregular shape to see what's going to happen. And then Okay, so let's have a look what we get. Hmm, it looks like a question mark. <laughs> let's open it. Mm -hmm. Actually, it looks like a, a leaf maybe a lotus leaf and see different decorations for our window and doors okay
No, one last one. The reason why I'm folding it twice is because it will be easier for me to cut it. This time, I think I can do... Okay. I only want to do... Simple shapes. Let's see what I can get. Maybe on this side too. So let's open it to see what we get. One second. Okay, let's have a look. This time, I think it really looks like a snowflake. Okay. Yeah. So, that's for today. I'm gonna clean up my workstation. You can clean along with me, too. I'm also very curious about what kind of winter flowers you got. Okay, quickly clean the station, my table, 
and I also I actually want to put these things on the door as well uh, and I want to show you that so give me a second Okay, uh, if you don't want to put on the door or windows, it's also okay. Um, but if you want, um, you can try to find a glue stick. So let's go and have a look how this is gonna look on our windows or doors. See, one on top of another. This is on our R Starts office door another set on the window so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed it and see you next time